Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, previous video, we were working on the lobby player controller. So we did quite a bit of scripting here inside of our lobby player controller. We are not done with the lobby player controller, but we're going to come back to it uh, a little bit later. Uh, so I'm going to close this out for now. Uh, in this video, we're going to start working on the lobby uh, menu layout, the design of our lobby menu. So let's go down to the content browser. Let's go into UI, lobby. Let's open up our lobby menu. So double click, open that up. And we're going to be focused on the designer uh, tab for this video. And then in the next video, we'll start working on the graph. So for the designer tab, what we'll do, let's actually also open up our host menu. Or not host, excuse me. Main menu is what I want. So we're going to open up the main menu, take our border, copy, and then we'll paste it inside of our lobby. So now we can close this out. Expand this. That. <clears throat> okay, uh, this is going to be the basis or the foundation of which we're going to build our lobby menu around. Uh, so for main menu here, let's change this text to say server name because the server name will appear at the very top. Uh, and then these buttons, we're going to change those as well. Let's see, we need four buttons. Oh, we have four buttons. That's going to be perfect. Uh, this button here is going to be called the, let's see. Let's rename this. So we'd have two on this. We'll call this the Ready Start button. The one below that will be the Set Game Settings button. The one below that, we hit F2. This is the Choose Character button. And then we'll hit F2 on this. And we'll call this the Leave Lobby button. So let's change the text on these. So ready, start. Uh, let's go ahead and change this. For now, we'll make this say start session. This is actually going to change based on whether or not you are the server or the client. If you're the server, it's going to say start session. If you're the client, it's going to say toggle ready or something along those lines uh, to let players let the server know that you are ready and other players know that you are ready. Again, the server will be able to start the session at any time. Uh, but if you want to, we'll, when we get to that point, uh, we'll show you how you could set it up so that you can only start the session unless all people are ready. So uh, let's just call it Start Session for now. We'll expand this. We'll call this uh, Game Settings. We'll call this uh, Select Character. And we'll call the last one down here Leave Lobby. And game settings also will only appear for the server. Clients will not see those. Clients will only have three options, select character, leave lobby, lobby, or toggle whether or not they are ready. So I think we have all of our buttons set up. They are also set up to uh, reflect if we're hovering over them, which is nice. <clears throat> uh, let's go ahead and let's wrap this border now. So we're going to wrap this, right click on it, wrap with a grid panel. Like so then we're going to select the grid panel and make some changes to it. Before we do that, let's rename this to something other than border so we know what it is. I'm going to hit F2 on this and just call this lobby settings. So I think that's good. So it'll be the lobby settings window. Uh, our grid panel, let's go ahead and make changes to that. Uh, over in the details panel, in the fill rules, column fill and row fill, uh, we're going to add two elements for both of these. Uh, first one, we're going to set this to 0.5, and we'll set this to 0.5. We'll set this to 0, and we'll set this to 0.5. This will start to make sense here in a moment when we start adding other panels to this. So for now, I'm going to stretch this out. Is it size to content already? Yeah, it is. We don't want a size to content, so I'm going to uncheck that. So uncheck size to content for this. And now we can kind of arrange it and stretch it out a little bit. So we'll have our server name and options over here. We'll have a chat window down here. We'll have the list of players on this side, like so. So we need to add a little bit more to our lobby settings here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just expand this real quick. So lobby settings, whoops, vertical box. Inside of this vertical box, we're going to add some stuff. So the first thing that we're going to add is, let's see, we need a horizontal box inside of here. So let's take a horizontal box, 
and drag that, drop that underneath server name. Like so. And inside of that horizontal box, uh, we're going to have an image. So let's take an image. So take an image, drag and drop that inside the horizontal box. And let's wrap that image with a size box, actually. So let's right click, wrap with size box. Select the size box and let's override those settings. And we'll say, I don't know, 300 by 300, something like that, because this is going to be our map image that we've selected. Okay, and let's actually name this map texture too, so we don't forget. So we'll call that map texture. Like so, okay. And then let's see what else do we want. Inside of this horizontal box, we're going to add a vertical box. So let's add a vertical box inside of this horizontal box. And inside of it is going to be two horizontal boxes. So we'll, we'll do one and then we'll copy it. So we'll take a horizontal box, put it inside the vertical box. Inside that vertical box, excuse me, uh, horizontal box is going to be two text. So let's add a text, select it, copy, and paste it. And what this will be is our map name. And then we'll also have uh, the time settings. So for now, these are going to be variables. For now, I'm just going to, so we can get an idea of what it looks like, just put some stuff in here. So we'll say map space colon space, something like that. The one next to it will say it's by default arena 01. And then let's take our horizontal box and copy it. So let's copy it and paste it inside that vertical box. And this will say, instead of map, it'll say something like time. And we'll say, I don't know, default time is 10 minutes, like so. And let's collapse these, collapse that. We'll select both of these by holding shift. And let's set those to fill. Oops, not fill. Can you not do it that way? Let's see. Let's make sure. So that horizontal box, the vertical box, uh, it's the vertical box we want. So we'll set the vertical box to fill, actually. There we go. So it kind of looks like that. Uh, server name. You could also, if you want, justify this to the left. So it reads kind of like that. Or leave it center. It's up to you. I'm going to put it to the left, though. So we have one panel done of our uh, lobby menu here. We'll add one more text widget to this. Let's collapse all of these. So let's add one more text widget. I'm going to copy this. Well, no, no, let's copy this. Let's start. Let's do a fresh one. Take text, drag it on top, on top of the vertical box, so it adds it at the bottom. And this text is going to say, press T to toggle menus. And let's make it italic. Something like this, not light. Uh, italic, something like that. We can reduce the size too if you want. Let's say 18, something like that, and we'll center that up. So what the player can do is, once they've defined their settings, we'll be, allow them to press T to hide everything except our chat window, um, so that they can uh, see their character running around in the environment. OK, uh, let's see. What else do we want to do? Um, let's go ahead and do the player side. So we'll have the player list over here on the right. Let's go ahead and do that. And for this, what we'll do is we'll take our lobby settings, copy it, and paste it inside of our grid panel. But we're going to make some changes to it. So let's hit F2 on this and call this player list. And for the player list, uh, what we're going to do is let's go ahead and let's see, move it to the right. Is that what we want to do? No, we don't want to do that. Uh, how do I get it to the right again? I forgot. Oh, it's been a while since I used a grid panel. Uh, let's see, player list. I should be able to, yeah, here it is, the slot grid. So on the details panel, this is how we're going to move it to the right side of our screen here. So select player list over in the details panel. Uh, let's go to the row span. We'll change that to two. And we'll change the column to one, and the column span span to one as well. So, 
So now it moves it over to the right. Now we need to make some changes to this, obviously. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, first thing at the very top, uh, we're going to change the way that this is displayed a little bit. So we don't need all of these buttons. I'm just going to delete all of these right now, as well as this text at the bottom. So I'm going to delete all that. Uh, we don't need, actually, I'm just going to delete this as well. We don't need that either. Uh, so we have our vertical box. And let's see. We're going to do this below our server name, which is now going to say players, or let's say something like the players. So uh, let's go ahead and wrap this with a horizontal box. So wrap with horizontal box. So uh, we're then going to have some more text in here. So I'm going to take this text, copy, paste it. And this text is going to be uh, our player's display. So we'll just, for now, to get an idea of what it looks like, we'll say one of four, something like that. Uh, we can make some changes to the size and font of this as well. We don't want 64, so we'll maybe say 32. Uh, I can center it up. And we can also center it here as well. So and we also want it to appear at the end of our window over here, so we could change that. I think our font size is OK for this. We'll leave that as it is. But we want to push it to the right side of the screen, so we'll use a spacer for that. Take a spacer, plug that in between these two. So, And on the spacer, uh, we can set that to fill. So, so it'll push it all the way over. And I did want to change this font. We didn't do that yet, did we? Yeah, we changed the size, but let's change the uh, style too. We don't want it bold. We'll make it italic, something like that. OK, so we have the server name. We have some options here. We have the player list. Uh, let's go ahead and we need to do one more thing here for this. So we have our vertical box, a horizontal box. We need to have a uh, vertical box below this that contains all of our connected players. So let's grab another vertical box. Panel, take that, drag that, and drop that in. And we'll hit F2 on this, and we'll call this the player window. So, And the player window is going to be set to fill, so it fills this whole thing. Okay. Now, we do have the chat window to do still that's going to appear down here. And we'll make some modifications to this so that it fits a little bit better, uh, as well as the game settings window and the character select. We'll come back to all those a little bit later. Uh, but for now, we're going to pause, actually, and then we'll pick it back up in the next video where we start working on the graph portion of our lobby menu. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you then. Mm -hmm.